my <clears throat> follow-up 98 Ford Winnebago Mini 24 RC video. I'm going to call this the bumps and bruises uh, version. So you're fully aware of conditions. You know, I mean, it's, I think this is fine. There's no problems here. Some people were asking me be about delamination, and there is a little, a little bit there. <clears throat> this was a repair job because actually this flange was not working. I got a better one here, but the hole was uh, not able to capture the screw, so we just put an adapter plate over it. I teach machining, so I do all that. The plumbing was replaced because somebody had uh, blown up a tire, and so I had to replace the plumbing underneath there and, and just straighten out the box for the cord. And that's, I had to actually get a genuine Winnebago door. Okay, you know, it, it, you know, it's a little fading. But actually, we did a nice trick with furniture polish that can make these shine pretty good. Uh, this is actually, uh, everything's good on here. I mean, that light's a little faded, and I would say this, uh, the tint probably needs to come off. I was looking at a, they make a rear window that's a slider. I saw them on eBay, so this is considered to be an exit door. But uh, this here was when I bumped into a corner. I, I did this one, so I had to straighten out the bar and I saw a guy that did a video and how he, he put these vinyl post corners on all his corners for the little bump. So I just I was actually gonna make a match so they were both the same. But so I just had to put a little bracing but everything solid as a rock so it's all sealed up. Um, see that up there, it's, doesn't look great, but it's not, doesn't leak, but I didn't, you know, want to spend the time on just trying to make it look pretty, because it was working, so. There's no other issues here other than this door handle, same issues with screws. When you, when you start stripping out the, the uh, like the I think the broke, handle was broken so we got another handle and the screws had lost their threads so we had to find another spot to screw into, into the frame inside here. And we ended up creating a little bit of a crack so this is a turn up on tape they call it. So this is totally sealed, sealed up. A little, a little bump there. No big deal, I don't think. Um, the awning has got some Eternabon patching on there. Well, actually, no, we use that uh, the guy who seals the boats up. Flex Seal, Flex Seal makes a tape. That works excellent, by the way. Um, this, is a re this is like sheet metal here. This is like this when you get it. Because it comes with this, this is the typical edging on all RVs and I suppose you can get new edging and redo it so it looks perfect again and it had a little sag here so I added this additional screw so this is solid as a rock in there so no leaks or anything that's about it I'm uh it's missing a lamp in the corner and I just picked up another one at the uh trailer shop. They had an identical. So to match these other clearance lights. Because actually that, I don't know, I probably could reuse that one. I, I think the base was messed up. But yeah, I got a whole light or something. So. And that's about it. I mean, this is, all the ties are excellent. They uh, probably uh, some people have rules of thumb on tires, and it depends how they were stored, if you had covers on them or not. It, it, especially in Florida, because sun can be uh, hard on tires. But um, 
some people say five years or somewhere in that area five to seven years you should change your tires anyway so these are 2015 tires so these are just kind of barely in the five-year range but uh, we had another one that had 2009 tires and those had to come right off oh, it's starting to rain here this thing runs great No problem uh, running this all the time. It's uh, manual on the door. Um, cruise control, by the way. Cruise control works. If we were towing, we usually uh, put it in. Uh, we don't let it go into overdrive. And it gets about 11, 12 miles of the gallon with, uh, without towing. So. Uh, other than that, there is nothing wrong anywhere else. Uh, not any leaks or anything. You could. I've gone to. We went to a race up in Maryland, and uh, this is our. We weren't plugged in, so we we're running off the generator and the uh, propane uh, or propane and electric uh, refrigerator. No problems at all. You know. Especially, I think we had one day when it rained all day, so we were just hold up in here and watching tunes on the TV up here with the power antenna. And we also did something called a Chromecast, which you could store like uh, videos, like you download from Netflix, or you can actually do a. Uh, I forget what they call it when you use your phone for a router. But oh, it's starting to rain pretty good. That is it. Oh, actually, just. One more. I just want to make sure everybody's fully aware because if somebody had to come give you a deposit and come all the way down here and say, like, oh, that's ugly looking. It, it is what it is. This is, if this was perfect, I would imagine this would be a $12,000 RV. You'll see them on there. You'll see older ones, like I saw 93s and 95s that don't have the V10 engine and don't have a lot of the more modern stuff. Not the 98th modern, but like this one's 2003. 2003 Jayco 31 foot. Uh, but this would be, if I were to sell this one, it would be 25000 So, But this is a, this came from New Jersey and there was rust underneath this. This one really has been a Florida RV the whole time. It was actually purchased at Lazy Days, which is a huge dealership in Tampa.